Get ready. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I'll be going over the top 10 benefits of prayer. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. With the intention and hope that this will motivate those who haven't yet established a prayer those who might have left the prayer or are struggling with the prayer as a part of their life. Because it's very sad, my brothers and sisters, that today we see so many Muslims not establishing the prayer Salah in their lives, despite its extreme importance. That's why I decided to make this short reminder with the top 10 benefits of prayer with a bonus at the end. Now there's a lot more, but I'll keep it simple and just go over these top 10. Let's start with number 10. Prayer is a means of strengthening our relationship with God Almighty Allah, helping us to be grateful. And it's proven that grateful people are happy people, being thankful for all His blessings and to remind ourselves of His greatness. Just as the body requires physical needs such as food and water, the soul also requires spiritual needs which are nourished by these acts of worship that we do in Islam. The most important of which is prayer. Brothers and sisters, it could be that the body of a person is healthy, but is spiritually dead. And this is substantiated when the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said that the comparison of the one who remembers God Almighty Allah and the one who does not is like that of the living and the dead. Allah the Almighty also says in the Quran, O you who believe, Respond to the call of Allah and His Messenger when He calls you to that which gives you life. That's in Quran chapter 8, 24. And that which gives the heart and soul life is prayer. Otherwise, you'll always have a deep void inside yourself. That's why so many people turn to drugs, alcohol, and other types of evil addictions. Moving along to number nine, having a direct connection with your Creator. You know, in Islam, prayer is a direct connection with God. We learn from Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, when he said that the closest the person is to his Lord is when he is in prostration. Prayer connects you with God. Did you know that? The Arabic word for prayer, as actually is derived from the Arabic word meaning connection. God's messenger said, peace be upon him, when any of you stands to pray, he is communicating with his Lord. So let him pay attention to how He speaks to him, Brothers and sisters, don't sever this relationship with your Creator. Number eight, you're establishing a pillar of Islam. Prayer is the second most important pillar and is the most regular compulsory action in our life. Prayer is the one act that must be fulfilled at least five times a day, regardless of the circumstance. In fact, God Almighty Allah did not even exempt the Muslims from praying during the times of battle. Allah says, guard strictly your prayers. If you fear an enemy, pray on foot or, or while riding. This is in the Quran, chapter 2, 238. Think about that. If that's the case during war, what about during peace? Number seven, success lies in prayer. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him said, the first thing a person will be accountable for on the day of judgment will be their prayers. If they are good and sound, that person will be successful. Brothers and sisters, what if it's defective? Or imagine, if it's not even there. You didn't even, you didn't even establish the Salat, that connection with your Lord. Big problems, big problems. Number six, it's your shield against evil. The prayer, if done right, shields one against evil, my brothers and sisters. Without seeking God's help, it is impossible to refrain from evil. God says in the Quran, chapter 29, 45, Verily, prayer restrains one from shameful and unjust deeds. Think about it. How much more mindful and God conscious of their actions is a person going to be when they are standing in front of their Lord, their Creator, five times a day? Number five, prayer enriches your soul. Prayer satisfies that spiritual need that we all have yearning inside the depths of us, the wanting to be in contact and connected to our Creator. And when that need is fulfilled, 
it gives your soul peace and contentment, especially with our busy and hectic lifestyles. Allah says in the Quran, chapter 13, verse 28, without a doubt, in the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find satisfaction, peace, contentment. Otherwise, the heart and soul will never be satisfied and it will look for it in all the wrong places. Moving along to number four, prayer done right helps you to be more humble. We work with the prayer to get rid of the pride, arrogance, and the big ego by realizing Allah the Almighty's greatness and your dependence on Him. In the prayer, we put the highest part of the human body and the source of intelligence, our heads, onto the ground and say, how perfect is my Lord the Most High. Allah tells us in the Quran, chapter 23, verse 1 to 2, successful indeed are the believers who are humble in their prayers. Of course, this can only be achieved when you understand what is recited and you concentrate with humility. Moving along, only three more left. Number three, washes sins away. Did you know that the prayer in Islam, it washes your sins away? God Almighty is the most loving and merciful. He didn't send any innocent person to die for your sins. He alone forgives all sins. When you repent sincerely, praying and asking Him alone, everyone commits sins. However, Allah has provided through prayer a way to wipe out those sins. Allah says in the Quran, chapter 11, 114, and perform prayer. Surely the good deeds remove away the evil deeds. We also have another beautiful example from the last and final message of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, when he said to his companions, consider if one of you had a river by his door, in front of his house, in which he bathed in it five times a day. He asked, would any filth remain on you after that? They said, no, Messenger of Allah. Then the Prophet replied, likewise, God wipes away the sins with the five daily prayers. Number two, the prayer, it will solve your problems and unites the Ummah. Remember that whoever strengthens their relationship with God, God will strengthen the relationship between themselves and the creation. Allah, who is all-powerful, will rectify all your problems. Allah the Almighty says in the Quran, chapter 2, 153, seek help and patience in prayer. Prayer, it unites the Muslims, those who have submitted to God. Congregational prayer cultivates brotherhood, equality, and humility between Muslims. The worshiper is standing in rows and is one body shoulder to shoulder without any distinction of race, nationality, color, wealth, or status. This act of unity in the prayer helps demolish all barriers which stand between people. Number one, the key to paradise is prayer. Prayer is your key to Jannah. This is a direct hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said, Miftahul Jannah to Salat. The key to Jannah, paradise, is Salat. This is in Jami al Tirmidhi, an authentic hadith. My sincere advice, brothers and sisters, don't lose this key. It's your key to paradise. If you lost it, pick it up right now. Go pray. Two rakats, two units of prayer. Make Tawbah. Turn back. Repent and start fresh now, today. Don't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow may never come. And there are only two places to go after your departure from this world. When you die, which is coming very soon. You can come today, tomorrow, in a month, or in a year, or 60 years. But for sure, we'll all die. And it's either paradise or the hellfire. Who rather have paradise? Say aye and get that key. Hold on to the key. Don't lose the key, your prayer salah, the direct connection with your Creator. Now I promised you a bonus. We don't do this for this reason, but we get all the spiritual benefits mentioned and also numerous health benefits, starting from the evolution that we do before prayer and all the way through the different postures and movements and then the grounding that we do when we put our heads to the ground. For that one, check out the video I did on the health benefits of grounding. And we do that minimum in Salah five times a day. So again, 
we get the best of both worlds, spiritual and physical health benefits by what? By obeying our Creator. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Now go pray.